So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we have got quite a lot to talk about because some big stuff is happening this week for the whole ARK franchise. As you guys would have seen from past videos, the roadmap is coming this Friday, the 31st of March. We're all so excited. And also one of the devs has also confirmed something really cool for the Unreal Engine 5 update for ARK Survival Evolved. Now, if you guys do get all the news you need to know, as always, make sure to smash that like button. It supports the channel so, so much. Subscribe if you're new around here because, you know, that just really supports me too. And I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. So there was a new community crunch, which is uh, 354. Now, it wasn't very exciting. A lot of people in the community were hoping before the roadmap that we might get some more like ARC 2 uh, reveals or teasers or something. But I suppose with the massive roadmap around the corner, I wasn't personally expecting too much in this. It was literally just community crunch 354 evo event and the community corner so they said welcome to another edition of the community crunch while we are while we put the finishing touches on the arc roadmap this week we'll take a look at some of the amazing things the arc community has been up to in the community corner now i'm surprised wildcard didn't actually um put the official release date and stuff about this uh, roadmap because it was announced on Twitter because not everyone is on Twitter. Uh, this is why, you know, another reason why it's, I'm glad I can make these videos for you guys. But Jeremy, who was the lead, uh, well, who was the lead community manager? Never was the lead community manager. The CEO of Wildcard said, the ARC 2023 roadmap post is coming on March 31st. Hang in there, a beloved ARC fans. So that's the official date, just if you guys want to know. It'll be in the new community crime. 355 now a lot of people are, are well we don't know what's going to come as part of this but all we know is in an old post they said it is the entire franchise so if they actually said the entire franchise it has to include every single part of it which is arc survival evolved arc 2 the animated series survival of the fittest um i think mobile's got its own one so i don't think it'll be anything like that switch all of that stuff all in one roadmap now what we've talked about as well in the past is what do we want um and and what do we expect to be in it now if you go ahead this is always a good idea to go and take a look at other games i actually came across the lost arc i've never played that game um but i i came across i was just i was like t doing some research and stuff as i always do for videos and uh, they actually did a roadmap at the end of 2022 it's like the lost arc 2023 roadmap and i was reading through it and it's pretty much just showing you what's happening every single month and then i've gone and looked at like loads of other, other different roadmaps for games as well and they all do it pretty similar and that's why i'm hoping wildcard are going to do it the same um so we get like you know sort of um, well, we've all, we're already. It's mad to think we're literally nearly at April. So hopefully we'll have April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and then throughout those months, because we've have been told it's only for 2023, we will get everything that's happening between those months. And if it's as as detailed as we're hoping in, um, hoping for, this could be the best thing ever for Ark in the longest ever time. You guys know if you've played the game for such a long time, you will know you literally just, especially being in a content creator for the game, you will know that we don't even know what's happening. We get told that there was paid DLCs um, and, you know, we get told it's a month, but it might get delayed. And apart from that, we're just playing the game. We're not really knowing what's happening. And the fact we're actually, I never thought they'd ever do a roadmap. It's exciting. So if Arc 2 isn't on this roadmap on Friday, it has been delayed to 2024. If it's on there, then we should know the month and the date that we will be getting it. I will be making a breakdown video. So I'll basically on Friday, I'll be doing one whole video covering the whole roadmap. And then throughout the week, I'm going to be doing different bits. I'm hoping there'll be extra bits of information on certain months. So animated series videos, you know, and I want to see some screenshots and some stuff. And I want to know when this gameplay trailer is happening. There's, there's just so much that we've been waiting for. And that's why I can ramble on and ramble on and talk about so many different things to be a part of it. So watch out for the video, guys. Massive day. I've seen so much hype from the entire art community. It is a big, big day. Anyway, Evo event. This ends today. Um, as always, times two on official servers. Um, so at least they're still giving us the Evo events quite often. Um, 
And then as you can see here as well, Nitrado was hosting their Ark Survival of the Fittest Survivor Showdown alongside some other crazies and Intel as well. So you see some big um, people getting involved with it there. Um, this happened on the, was this the Friday or the Saturday? Anyway, 25th of March. Um, and uh, I did actually see it. So I'm going to see if I can hop on and watch the highlights of what happened there. I definitely am looking to get involved. Um, I'm in the Nitrado partner, uh, like sort of thing. And, I will definitely look to get involved with some of these because I'm not going out there to say I'm the best arc player ever, but I, I would say I'm too bad at survival of the fittest. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I did actually want to give a big shout out to Stevie Lad, who I've been in the community with Stevie since like, you know, the start, start days of ARC. I'm talking 2016 day, uh, 2016 days, <laughs> the 2016 days. Um, and we used, we're actually in a series a long time ago. Um, it was called Dodo Loco. It was literally like that long ago now um and i was actually 16 years old as well that's how how fast times fly uh but he's been doing a, a survival helm series um i've sometimes do update videos on it um and all of that so yep yeah, this is the community corner some awesome fan art but i know you guys as and well the fan art's always amazing look at those frost may wings but i know you guys are very interested in what's going on with the unreal oh look at that screenshot as well unreal engine 5 so this should be um so we what we know is there's an update coming to the first game and it's not just going to be arc 2 and unreal engine 5 the first game is going to have it as well and as you'll be able to see on twitter um the creator of fjorda and valgero said i hope at survival at uh, survive the arc will remake the original arc 1 trailers for unreal engine 5 remaster would love to see exactly the same trailers for a comparison uh, comparison now, Kudakors, who obviously worked at Wildcard, said, All I'm going to say is, of course, we are going to do a trailer. Why would we launch a product without one, lol? Um, and I would say that definitely over time, has things have probably... I suppose it's a product, isn't it? I mean, there's been some events that have missed trailers, and there's been a few things, but to be honest, Wildcard usually do always release, especially with such a big thing like this, a trailer. So I don't think that means they're going to be releasing a trailer for every single DLC that's come to the game, but they're going to do one big trailer for Unreal Engine 5, and it's going to look awesome. And this should be all part of the roadmap, as we talked about, and then we can find out when we're getting it. Now, all I'm going to say is I hope... Um, I've just taken what Kudakor said. All I'm going to say <laughs> um, is I hope that Unreal Engine 5 comes for uh, comes to, to, well, to the community before the release of Arc 2. Because if it comes afterwards, there's not going to be as much hype for it. And I feel like what a perfect way to like move into the second game by being able to experience Arc Survival Evolved in Unreal Engine 5. And some of the things I've seen recently with Fortnite and stuff, it just shocks me how where gaming's going to. And as a creator myself who's loved this game, it just makes me really feel like the places that Wildcard can take this game and this whole entire franchise. And it gets me even more excited as a creator for some things that I can create and bring to you guys. I just, I really can't wait. It's going to be a whole new world of gaming. 2023 is generally looking to be insane for gaming. Definitely the best year for a long time. Anyway, that is the whole video, all the news you guys need to know. I hope you did enjoy. Um, as I said, there's going to be, um, uh, throughout the week, there's going to be map reviews, all of that type of stuff, because you guys are loving that content at the moment. Thank you for the support on the Island Remaster video. Um, so we'll be doing that throughout the week. And then Friday, I'll be preparing. I might even do a stream on Friday um, as I'm off work on Friday. So I will be doing a stream and, you know, just make the most of the day and uh, prepare for an amazing night. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video very soon.